This is a gorgeous region, right, that needs to be reintroduced to the world. It's just a dream come true to really give back to them and to the community. It was like a great collaboration of ideas across firms. There's a lot that reflects the community. Nateco, nature and technology and community. We designed the new terminal as a pavilion in Pennswood. It was the team of Gensler HDR, as well as Luis Vidal Architects, that really started to come up to the top. We felt that this was a great combination in order to reflect the fact that this is a global facility and it needs to serve a very specific local market. I spent a lot of time in Pittsburgh, and I was attracted by three values. The first one, nature. It's trees, it's rivers. The second one, technology, transportation, healthcare institution. The third one, community, arts, culture, sport, music. And all that gave me the idea of this new word, Nateco, nature, technology, and community. We always talk about um, coming out of the Fort Pitt tunnel as being your introduction to Pittsburgh, right? That needs to start right here at the airport. When you land at this airport, you come through and you just take it all in you know you're in Pittsburgh, right? That's what it's about. Even today, we work closely um, to ensure that the vision of the project that was set forward at the beginning follows through to the end of the project and the final deliverable will look just like the first renderings. The design elements around the Takeo, some of the obvious ones that are uh, very prominent, the roofs uh, with the, the bands that uh, mimic, you know, the rolling hills of, of Western Pennsylvania, the tree columns, I think are evocative of the area certainly the glass in a way that it brings nature into the building. The use of nature, natural light, ventilation, color, vegetation, outdoor activity, all those things are very rare in airports. And this will be one of the very first airports in the world to take advantage of all these possibilities. Unlike, you know, other projects um, that are driven by airline demands or the need to add additional gates or capacity increases, this was always at the root sort of about um, the passenger experience and making this place a memorable destination again um, and a place that people could um, relate to community. Pittsburgh is a community where people pick up and drop off. That is rare at airports. And so we wanted to make sure that there's space for all those little kids with the balloons and the signs. And there's space for people who are saying goodbye to somebody going to college or leaving for some trip. The authority really challenged us to bring the passenger and the meter greeter experience to a whole different level. It allowed us to really focus on those areas and treat the meter greeters uh, as, as guests here. I think this airport is going to have a lot more character. What I think, you know, this airport design is doing is really bringing in the local flavor, colors, texture of uh, Pittsburgh and the Western Pennsylvania region. But it's also creating those memorable like spatial moments where people are going to like just pause, right? That relate to all five of the senses. I hope that when they walk in, they go, wow. I've had the privilege of working at many major airports and most of them are very functionally driven, right? Just get passengers in, get them through security, get them on my plane. Uh, this one takes it way beyond that. And I'm excited to see it open. The design team has been a dream team. And in there, I include the client, which has been magnificent from the outset, a gangster with whom we had worked in the past, so many years ago, and HDR, which we knew as well from different opportunities in the United States. Leading a design team of this size is like leading an orchestra, right? Like everybody has their different parts to play and they're playing different harmonies and they need to come in at the right times. We actually co-located in an office suite um, for the first, I think, 24 months of the project. So having that first 24 months of us working together was extremely important. There were moments of emotion and what it created was an environment where people were competing with each other and really pushing the design to just new heights and, and, and elevating that design continuously. It was a great way uh, uh, to bounce ideas off of each other in a much more efficient way. The number of cycles that you can go through in terms of design iterations increases dramatically when you're just there every day together. We have access to ACAA clientele here. 
picking their brains, asking them what they really, really want, how do they truly function, allows us to convey that back to the design teams to create functionality, design, etc. Airports are the cathedrals of the 21st century. Cathedrals are where people used to gather for economic, social, and cultural exchange. Modern international terminals serve the same purpose. People gather, mix, because of their economic, social, and cultural interests. It's going to feel like it's the airport of today, not the airport of 30-something years ago. So it will just feel renovated and new. And that's something that I think does reflect Pittsburgh, right? Pittsburgh is a city that is poised for present and a future that's very exciting. The building will reflect that just because it's new and it's upgraded. Having an, an airport that frankly inspires for people that are considering investing in Pittsburgh, that people are flying in from a business perspective and they get to see the region for the first time right here when they get off the plane, giving them a sense of, of place here in Pittsburgh, getting them to understand you know, what we're all about and, and how much we care uh, about this region, I think is so important. As I talk to people who've never been to Pittsburgh, they always say to me, yeah, I don't know, Pittsburgh, just probably just a lot of smokestacks and steel and barren areas. So wrong. This is a gorgeous region, right, that needs to be reintroduced to the world.